Welcome back, guys, to episode 21 of Thomas Marco's career. Uh, we added a, we changed the beard, gave him a full beard. We added one new tattoo on his right arm, the tiger. Built some more character on him. And get into it. Right, who are we gonna fight? Gonna give us like one person. Oh, Edson Barbosa, the number one contender. Sorry, high hype. Oh, wow. We gotta go Chrissy's. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I like that one. All right, use your feet, use your head, use your hands. Slip, block, and parry. Don't get hit. Keep working. Good work. Come on now. Good block. Come on. Oh no, Max. Miss it, miss it. Way to block that. Ow. That's how you block. Come on now. Come on, Max. You got it. Can touch you in the future. Um. Marathon or stand up becomes more efficient when moving. Stamina loss is reduced during health. I like Marathoner. Anyway, uh. Let's go with I don't know if Edson's a mission guy. I don't think he is. I think he throws leg kicks, so let's go with that. Oh dang, we finally got a level Above level one hook. And our favorite, the crane kick. It's gonna be a level four. My favorite kick with uh, Thomas Marcos. Got a Darsh choke, which we'll never use. Down defense. I wonder when we're gonna. Khabib's probably gonna be one of our defenses if we can beat uh, Barboza.
Oh, I like that. Remove the scar tissue. Add some submission defense. I didn't mean to do it twice. My bad. Oh, we're not going to be able to move as well. Um, might as well go this. Yeah. We got to fight the high height. Go. Our champion trunks. We're not in peak fitness, that's the only downside to this fight. Knocked out McGregor with that knee. Alright, coming up next, the main of And now our tail of the tape. Just get to the tail of the tape. Barboza is 11 years the elder. He will have a four inch reach advantage. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the. <laughs> Get it. Come on, Barboza. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, so here we go, early round one. This belt as hard to retain as any in the UFC. The UFC lightweight championship. And there is the belt holder wearing the black and gold. We'll see if he can maintain the title here tonight against the number one contender. As many of you know, this is his first title defense. And he has said, I have no intentions oh, of relinquishing the title, especially to this type of contender. We'll see if he can follow up and turn those words into action. Oh! He's gotten hurt here. The champ is Ouch. He's in trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Oh, big left hook there. He is going after it here. Nice defense it. on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, he threw me? He looks to improve position here. Just over three minutes to go round one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Keep it busy here in the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the body. Nope. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Marcos. The knee's now going. And he lands yet another hook there, flush. Nice job by Marcos. Hook it again. Look at that, right to the temple. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. And now he's got the tie clinch. Hook it again. Hook to the head there by Marcos. Just out of range with that right hand. Which is all stamina. Nice knee to the body by the champ. Oh, effective strike there by Barboza. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Front kick to the body by Marcos. Come uh, on. Let's go, let's go. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one to the... Whoa! He's in trouble right now. Oh, he might be out. Hurt him with that uppercut. Oh, wow! Head kicked. He hurt him with that hook. Come on. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice inside leg kick. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush. Switching stances here. He's got the over-under here. Huge kick misses. Ouch. Okay, missed it. I don't know. Felt oh, like my clutch game was better than his. Ouch. 
Oh, big roundhouse attack, Dang. but unable to land. Ah, uh, dang. There, Joe, the straight punch lands flush to the head, and again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Wow! Oh, dang. Oh. Barboza gets up again, but he looks hurt, Joe. And he pummels out of it. Double under hooks in the clinch. Excellent takedown defense. Dang it. Nice throw. No, Barboza. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy in half guard. Let's move back into side control once more. Come on. He's going to try to take the back. He don't want that. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. So battling for position here on the clinch once again, Joe. Both fighters trying to gain a more advantageous position. Oh, nice work with the knee there by Marcos. Hook in the clinch there by Edson Barboza. That bruise on his torso is getting bad. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nice knee to the body by Marcos. And that one certainly found the target. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Nice punch there by Barboza. Fucked it. Hard hook. And there comes the separation now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Mr. Ah, dang. Oh, power kick to the arms. And an outside leg kick lands. Oh, nice hook. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, oh he's limping. Oh, he clipped him there. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. Definitely won that round. There's no way. I knocked him down. Here's a vicious kick that resulted in knockout. Come with that cartwheel kick. Ready to fight? Ready. Come on, let's go, right, Edson. Here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Punches in Dang, punches don't count that as a knockdown. Any signs of slowing down here. Whoa! He is clearly in big, big trouble here. Nice leg kick. Body kick, look at that. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. And we got a fight on our hands. Oof. Oh, very nice. Effective punch there by Edson Jr. Barbosa. Oh! Nice combination Ow. there by Edson Barbosa. Well. That's a big block, Joe. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Barboza. Wow. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. Ooh. Dang. Just misses with the straight right. How about that shin? Gotcha. Marcos goes for the clinch here, Joe. He was stunned a moment ago. Let's see if the clinch now gives him the proper time to recover. Nice, very nicely done. Great takedown defense. Dang. Got him. Hits the reversal and right into north south. With two minutes and change to go in round three. <laughs> you want, you want beat the body up? I'll beat the body up. Nope. Beautiful punch. Trying to take the back here. Joe doing a nice job here staying busy from the bottom. 
excellent movement here on the ground. Big body punch. Well, he gets up again. God dang. Let me throw my judo throw. One minute to go. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Marcos. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. And lands a good shot. Whoa! He's definitely rocked. Barboza gets up. But he looks hurt here, Joe. I'm not sure he's recovered. Come on, boy. And he lands it to the leg. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? Lots Dang. Good thing we put that leg limp on, because he would be here. making us limp more. We had to have won that round. We knocked him down twice. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth oh, round dang. is underway. That means we have arrived at the championship rounds. And this is when the elite fighters, Joe, really separate themselves from the pack, from others in that top 15. Who wants it? Let's see. Good right hand on the top of his head. Dang. He's hurt. He is clearly in big, big trouble. Body kick, look at that. Total strikes. Oh, effective use of the jab by the oh! oh! Oh, he's hurt. No stamina. We both have no stamina. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Barbosa. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Marcos. Oh, he's out. We got him. He's out. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. Caught the opponent flush with full force and extension. And frankly, there was no chance after that. The fight was over as soon as that one made contact. Certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight. We can see it from a different angle here. Look at the power in this roundhouse kick. And when it lands, he didn't have the, the stamina. Is done. He wasn't Great winning the here. wasn't winning the clinch game. And he's, out. he's beating me on the ground, but I was just uh, holding my own. Lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by no. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Marco. So there he is, all smiles, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. And what a way to get it done here tonight as he gets it done with the knockout. You talk about maximizing a showcase. I'm just not sure he could have done it any better. Smart approach to the fight and the window of opportunity opened. He closed the show. Congratulations to the team as they celebrate the title defense here tonight. We got the fight of the night bonus too. Let me just check what the judges scorecards were. Okay, we were up on the scorecards. Oh dang, he had no head health at all. His body was... Fight was good. Left leg, we barely did any damage, but he destroyed our right leg. I'm Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. As the fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. To win in the UFC isn't easy. To do it as many times in a row as this lightweight standout has 
is a remarkable feat that has this fighter on the verge of even more big things in the world-renowned octagon as he prepares for his latest battle in mixed martial arts ultimate proving ground That'll do it for this episode, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Get you next one. Bye. -bye. Uh.